this is Connie, and I did not shower. I I did this morning, but <laughs> I did not shower uh, on purpose. I wanted to show you what my hair looked like. <laughs> this is after getting it fixed, and they always style it. They always think seem to think I need big hair. I don't know. It's fallen some since I've been home, by the way. But I got it colored and highlighted. It's got kind of blondish highlights, but yet they look kind of caramely. Let's bring in a little. So you can kind of see the, the colors there. There's a good one you can see. But she put all this junk in my hair, at all the gel and all the hairspray and all that stuff and then she she blew dry it and she um, squished or scrunched it as she was blow drying it um, after she put the stuff in and this is the result it just looks like a mess look at that uh, it is just so stiff and looks like a rat's nest to me I don't like it a fix like this at all but I thought it would be fun to um, do my I, I need to do three videos tonight I'm gonna do them um, I've got a uh, giveaway that I won I've got a haul that I did today and I'm gonna do my get ready with me now so uh, I wanted to show I was excited to show you my hair I also got a pedicure I did not get a mani but I got a pedicure so I will um, show you that I the reason that I'm spending a little bit of money is because first of all I'm an impulse buyer and um, the Walgreens haul kind of shows that a little bit I didn't spend a ton of money there but I've spent some uh, I, I did I could have done my own hair except for the highlights. I did I don't know how to do that. But I thought, you know, I was going back and forth. Do I need a perm? Do I need um acrylics, new acrylics on my fingers? Um what do I want? And what I decided I wanted was I wanted my hair to be colored and highlights and I wanted a pedicure. So that's what I got. I had a garage sale this weekend and I made um, really good money. I made over $500. So I took 150 of that and going to spend it. The rest of it's put away already. I will not touch it. Um, you know, for a rainy day. Like what happened to me in January. That would have helped a lot if I would have had that money put away then. But Anyway, let's do this get ready with me. You know, it always takes me a while. I will try to um, maybe speed up spots or whatever. You know, if you don't like long videos, do like um, Christine says and, and put it on something and it speeds it up a little bit. You can still hear me, but I sound a little bit chipmunky. <laughs> anyway, i um, going to use my, my uh, Matte Prime, my Ulta Matte Prime. This is pretty much gone. Yeah, there's a whole lot left. So this will probably be in my empties soon. It's probably got, oh, maybe, maybe one or two uses left of it. That's about it. Okay. I did wash my face, and I moisturized my face. This doesn't even look like me with this hair. <laughs> You know, maybe it doesn't look so big to you guys, but to me, it looks big. Cause I've I've never liked big hair on me because, especially because I'm I've got such a fat face. So anyway, I'm gonna use my Ready Set Gorgeous today. I haven't used that for quite a while. Gotta shake it up a little bit. And I'm going to use like I have been using lately my um. call these toothbrush brush I'll 
I'll use my, put that on my forehead here once I, and I do have a mirror behind my camera now that I'm trying to use, so I'm, I'm in frame for you guys all the time. I might have to look in my actual mirror once in a while. I'm just going to look in my mirror to make sure that everything is looking even. My nose never looks right. I must have put a little bit too much on because it is smearing a little bit. Okay, there is my foundation. Wipe the excess off here. I'll learn not to squeeze it all out onto my hand maybe just to put a few drops at a time on my fingers all right so I'm going to put on my um, I'm going to use brow this way I just grabbed one out of my drawer uh, by Rimmel in medium brown and I really like this one it's one of my favorites looks like that and I have a hair on it I can see all right when you can see this I got to get a little closer here Maybe that's a lot. I was going to get my eyebrows done today because where I got my pedicure, they do eyebrows. But I thought, uh, I just don't want to spend that extra money because that would have been 20 bucks to get my eyebrows waxed. And I barely have anything to wax. They, um, charged me $35 for my pedicure, by the way, which is awful. That's why I don't get them done very often. Get them done at the beginning of the summer. And, uh, you know, I might have to do once more before the summer is done, but then I don't do them all winter. You know, I like, I think it's that, uh, that foundation. Um, I'm finding that it is not my favorite for sure. Okay, so let's do my eyes, and I am going to use my Avant, um, NYX Avant Pop in Nouveau Chic is the name of this and this was in my friend mail last week so beautiful I'm going to let's see here um don't know what I'm doing here yet I have never used this yet so we will see and I'm gonna try not to let's see here let's do it like this that way you can see me. Swishing my brush around to clean it. 
All right, so what do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this in the crease. I watched somebody that um, um, is my age doing their eyes the other day, and they said to keep your eyes open when you're doing this. That way, the um, transition color, you can actually see it instead of it being hidden in the crease when you have hooded eyes and crepey eyes like I do. Okay. Oh, I guess I don't want that behind my ear. I'm just so used to having it behind my ear. should change my lipstick choice that I have today. which I used this one all over my lid, this one for my transition, and this one for my lid. And so far, I am loving it. They are so pretty. people. I love this mascara. I would, I, I will be getting a uh, full size of this, I think. Someday. I, I have like two drawers full to go through first. I had some uh, waterproof mascara on that I still have partially on my lashes, so this is not going on easily. And it's, uh, my watch quit working, so I have no idea what time it even is. I know it's probably about 10.30 or 11 at night, so this will be going off soon. But, ooh, ooh, I really feel felt that I needed to get this stuff done. I haven't done anything, you know, with my rummage sale um, and stuff. I haven't done anything. So I, and I was, I figured, you know, with getting my hair done and everything, I'd want to film afterwards. And then I come home and I was just, I ate supper and then I was just kind of lazy. So I didn't get it done. Okay, let's put on concealer. What am I going to use for concealer? I just, I think I will use the Maybelline Fit Me. And I have this in Fair. Okay. 
And uh, I start my new job tomorrow. Get, uh, I'm training tomorrow. Um, I thought that they were going to open on, but I'm going to try this tiny brush. I thought they were going to open on the 25th, which would be, what's today even, uh, Monday, which would be Wednesday. We were going to train tomorrow night, but now I got on Facebook today, they said Friday was going to be their opening. So I'm a little confused. I don't know if I like this or not. Buddy, what are you doing? Yeah, I heard you. I have, my whole bed is covered. I don't sleep in my bed, for those of you that know, because um, I just, I, I haven't been getting any sleep in my bed. I toss and turn, my back hurts so bad when I get up in the morning that, um, so I have not been sleeping in my bed. I sleep in my recliner. And so my whole bed is covered with stuff right now. Um, from the rummage sale and all this stuff and so Buddy has no place to lay down on it so he's not a happy happy kitty cat right now you know what I forgot to put on my oh well okay so let's go with blush and I thought I would go with my little itty bitty Laurel Geller and this is Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues it's called it's beautiful And for highlighter, I have got one too many brushes in my brush thingamajiggy. For highlighter, I am going to use my ColourPop. And that is in, it's Super Shock Cheek Stole the Show. And this one here you can see was all squished when I got it. Okay, I don't know if that even showed up a little bit. Okay, and lastly here before my lipstick, I'm going to put on my Bare Skin uh, Perfecting Veil in light to medium. And I just use this, this is kind of like a, it's a perfecting veil, which I really don't understand if it's, if it's supposed to be a, uh, just a powder. That's what I use it for anyway. All right, lipstick is yes, I am using my Lorac Lip Lux in Bordeaux. And this is what it looks like. That's what you get when you're about half blind. And this is a map. Don't wear it very often. I don't know why, because I like it. All right, guys, that is my face. <laughs> and my hair. I do love the color. Um, we'll see tomorrow when I put on my tomorrow will be 
um, day one of my new job making it work. That's how I'm going to name it tomorrow. Um, so then we can start out at week one. Week one new job or something. I don't know. It's really pretty lipstick. <laughs> I will see you in a little bit with a new video. Bye-bye.